We spent $1,100 on a Power of the Elements case, and guess what? The Ultra Ball and I have never been happier or harder. Let's dive on into how much money we made, boys and girls. <laughs> Destroy the ever living crap out of that subscribe button so that we can make a bunch of monies off our KCs and so that we can get to 900 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, we are well on our way, like on the road to Viridian motherfucking city in this hizzy. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, in case you have not watched the live stream where we did a case opening of Power of the Elements, we spent... A, uh, on the dot, I should say, $1,096.75. <laughs> so you would think that they could cut me some slack and like not do the 75 cents, but that's Florida taxes for you, seven cents for every dollar. So everybody in my stream yesterday was like, Avery, you are an idiot. Someone even told me that they got a case for like 730, which is really what I should have been paying. And they were like, you shouldn't be paying that much. That's too much money. You're going to lose your ass. And in a way, I lost my ass because I could have made hundreds of more dollars off of this case had I gotten it at the actual retail value. And I want to explain that real quick. Um, first of all, shout out to Vortex Cards and Games. I'm not trying to bash them in any way for how much they charge me because I get it. And uh, the employee there explained it perfectly. And I really love this OTS store. Like, I'm not just trying to you know, blow smoke up their butt. Like they are a really, really great locals that, I mean, just very courteous people, very kind. They won't screw you over. I mean, it just, they're, they're, they're just a good OTS store. You know, I've, I've heard some horror stories about other OTS stores and they're just fantastic. So the reason why it was so expensive was because the reason was that they, only had so many cases. Like I, I, going off the top of my head, I think the employee told me they only had like between six and eight, something like that. So once I got mine, they only had like five or six more and then they were out. And like all of Florida, like I should say all of Jacksonville, Florida, like the whole area of Jacksonville was out at that point. Like, like once they were done and the other couple OTS stores that are in my area were done, that was it. There was no more power of the elements. And they wanted to deter people from just coming in and buying them out. So they were charging basically the wholesale price. So they were charging $85 a piece on boxes. So the case came out to after tax, $1,096.75. Now I finally got done running the numbers and things. And as a rough estimate right now, based upon what we pulled, we are anywhere currently from $1,300 to $1,400 in profit. So I'm up by around two to 300 bucks, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on where prices settle. Um, and really that's just because the case I opened was absolutely cracked. In case you didn't see the stream, you know, spoiler alert now for you, we pulled three copies of Ultimate Slayer, two secrets and one Starlight. The Starlight is going anywhere right now on, I guess technically still pre-sale, five to 600 bucks. Who knows where that's going to settle? I could just hold on to that for a while and let that go up. I feel like it's going to be another Triple Tactics Talent where the Starlight for that's over $700. Um, we also pulled three Sprite Blue, two Starters, two Elfs, six Gigantic Sprites. We pulled like three Kaleido Hearts, three Kit Kalos. Um, God, what else was there? We pulled three of the Kurakara thing that's like a Nibiru. Uh, I mean, we just, we pulled so many good things and the starlight on top of that to seal the deal. Now, again, if I would have gotten the case at like $720, $730, yes, we would have made so much value off of this case. Like we would be like what? We spend $730 and make $1,400 in profit. Like we double our money just about, like you can't beat that. Um, would I ever do this again? Hell no, not at nearly $1,100 for case. This is the most expensive sealed Yu-Gi-Oh product I've ever bought. The most expensive singles I ever bought before this was uh, Zodiac back in 2017 when they were tier zero and I bought a whole deck core for $700 because barrages were like $99 a piece plus all the other things I need came out like $700. Um, ended up, pff, I think I like broke even on Zodiac with that. Um, but regardless, Yes, we did not lose our ass as many people thought um, that we were going to. Um, however, 
should everybody like take this plunge into getting a case at that price? Absolutely not. Do not do that. I did it because one, I'm an impatient son of a gun. Uh, and two, uh, like it was the case was staring me in the face. Like I missed the premiere. If you didn't see my Yu-Gi-Oh podcast video on that, I talked about how I missed the premiere because uh, they ran out of kits on Saturday and they weren't doing it Sunday. So haha, screw me. And so this was my one chance to get product. This was my one chance to get Sprite. Could I have gone on TCG player and paid 250, 220 bucks for the Sprite core? Absolutely. Is that what you should do if you want to play Sprite? Absolutely. Um, you know, you're not guaranteed everything in a case. And and my case goes to show that, right? Like, yeah, I got lucky that I pulled three blues. I pulled three jets. I pulled two elves and two gigantic sprites. But I only pulled two elves, uh, which is fine. But, you know, hopefully they don't end up wanting to play three. Only pulled two starters. I still need one more. If I wanted to play tier elements, I'd be in even worse shape because I only pulled one of the field spell in my entire case. We ended up turning around that yesterday, same day that we opened the case for 60 bucks. Um, but we also got like six misprint cards. Like we got an EN wave, that continuous spell for Neos. Uh, that was a misprint, like the ink was wrong. And uh, like six other cards that we pulled that were all super rares all had that misprint. Now, do I wish it had been like an Ultimate Slayer misprint? Absolutely. <laughs> um, but those are still good stories to have. And, and those could go for those could go for anything. If if each of those super rares are, let's say, two bucks a piece after the set actually releases tomorrow, I could charge 10 bucks a piece because they're misprints. You know, I can kind of charge whatever I want, especially if they're not very common misprints. Um, and on top of that, too, spending the eleven hundred dollars, I am in a position and, and I'm not trying to flex when I say this. I'm just putting things in perspective because I, I saw some people like they were they sounded like they were concerned for my wallet type of thing. I have made investments throughout my time in the stock market that I'll just say pay dividends. I'm not going to say what I invest in because I really don't want to seem like I'm flexing. But uh, the 1100 hurt. Don't get me wrong. Um, it just didn't hurt as bad if I did not have those investments to fall back on. Um, that literally they pay dividends. Like if you don't know what a dividend is, basically you get paid for owning stock. So getting that. And then spending the 1100 it definitely helps take the pain away. <laughs> it's it's the morphine for the pain, if you get what I mean. Um, so don't worry. Like, I am okay financially. I'm not, like, losing my mind. I saw some people concerned about that, which, thank you. I I, I appreciate your concern. But don't worry. Like, I'm okay. This, this is the last case that we're going to buy for a while because I, I really don't know if I want to do a Tactical Masters case. Um, now, is my story uh, the the normal no, it is not. Uh, I could have very well lost my ass big time on this $1,100 case. And it was simply through sheer luck that I was able to, one, offload a lot of the stuff fairly quickly. Like, I'm pretty much getting rid of almost all my tier element stuff. Um, and then I'm offloading two the, the two Secret Rare Slayers for basically 100 bucks, so 50 a piece. Uh, and then the Ultimate Slayer, uh, really what it comes down to, now that I think about it, is if we get rid of the Ultimate Slayer for 500 that drops our total investment down to 271 And then it's just a matter of getting rid of, like, some of the Sprite stuff. Like, you know, if if Blues are at 90s right now, if I could sell them for anywhere from 80 to 90 a piece, like, honestly, at the lowest, like, 80 like, there's our money back right there for the most part, plus the starters, plus, like, let's say the jets are two bucks a piece. Like, there you go. I pulled, like, seven jets. You know, it, it, it all adds up, you know, especially if, like, out of all the super rares I pulled, if I sold all my super rares that I have for two bucks a piece, there's our money back there, and then some. So, it, it adds up like that over time. Um, so, you guys, that is just sort of, I guess, a vlog of what I want to talk about with the case. You know, everyone was freaking out that I spent way over MSRP, and I did spend way over MSRP, and I acknowledge that. Um, I just got lucky enough to where I was able to make profit. We spent nearly 1100 and so far we're on track to make around thirteen to 1400 bucks. I'm hoping to hit 1500 but I'm not so sure about that. Um, so guys, really, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. Did you get a case of Power of the Elements? Did you at least get a box? Did you get a couple packs? 
uh, you know, what, what were your pulls like? Did you, did you open up, you know, multiple cases and only get like one starlight? Like, you know, I'd be curious to know. And, and let me know in the comments too, if you got any misprints and if you missed the live stream on that Ian wave misprint, be sure to go and check it out. It really surprised me. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.